today we need to get an iron farm and a gold farm up and running because we are 1375 days into this world and we have a grand total of three stacks of iron and even less gold than that so welcome back to the hardcore world everybody and today we are farming but before we get started on that we got a little bit of business to attend to to get onto the roof of the nether, we're probably going to have to take a few TNT blasts to the face, so I'd really like a full set of blast protection armor before we go there. So the fun task of trying to find a blast protection villager starts now. Well, that actually only took about two or three minutes, so there we go. Now I just need myself a little bit of this stuff here, craft them up, slap them on here, and enchant them up. There we go, with a full set of blast protection netherite, I'm sure we can survive a few explosions to the face. Alright, I've gathered everything we need to blast a hole in the roof of the nether, and I've also got enough obsidian to create a portal in case we get stuck there by accident. I figure we'll start with that because if I accidentally kill myself with TNT, then, well, that kind of screws up my plans for, well, everything. Alright, first things first, we gotta find ourselves a place to do this. Alright, I think I've found a block that I can get through on. So, if I remember correctly, you go to the top of the block here and then you throw an ender pearl at the corner a there we go we're on the roof and i wrote down the coordinates just to make sure okay this is our block we need to break let's put on our blast protection stuff before we forget all right i believe i've put the contraption together properly to be perfectly honest i've never actually broken bedrock before i've always had someone else do it for me so we'll see how this goes does not instill me with confidence that my first time doing this is on a hardcore world <laughs> okay let's do this and click bunch. Hopefully I get it. Nope, didn't get it. It's suggested to do this with a macro, but I don't have one installed, nor do I care to install one, so we're gonna try and do this the hard way. Or another suggestion is to change the keybind here. Okay, let's try this then. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. Let's switch this back before I forget. Nope, there we go. And moment of truth, there we go. We have nether roof access. Now, before we get started on the gold farm, I'm going to have to gather a bunch of resources because I have basically nothing that I need to make this farm. So we got to grab ourselves some magma and all that kind of stuff. And the reason I don't elaborate is because um, I don't actually know what all I need. I'm going to have to watch a tutorial. This isn't exactly my strong suit, which is why I've gone almost 1400 days without building one of these farms. We got a bunch of resources together here, a whole lot of magma, and then this shulker box of assorted other stuff we need to make the farm. But we do need more resources still. And in order to get those resources, we need more farms. Starting with the iron farm that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Because hoppers. There we go, we got some iron flowing in, and we're gonna leave this to run while we're making our next farm, which is going to be a honey farm. Farm number two is complete, and we are making honey. I've also cloned it the other side, that way we can get honey combs on this side once I, you know, get enough bees to populate it. And I think decorating the inside of this greenhouse would be a good job for a stream. 
And now that we are generating honey and iron, I think we need to move on to our last farm that we need to make before we can make our big farm. Oh, well, talk to the top of my head, I guess. The last farm that we need to build is a slime farm, and we're going to do it here in the middle of the ocean, and we need slime to get sticky pistons and slime blocks and all that good stuff. So it's farm building time again. And just like that, farm number three is complete. And I believe we've already collected enough slime for the project. Yep, I think so. Now all I gotta do is connect it up to the nether and wait at the other farms until I have enough resources to do the final farm. Those of you who are familiar with my channel know that I do not like AFKing in this world if I don't have to. I don't want to inflate the day count. So while I was waiting for the iron to accumulate, I ran throughout the world and gathered as many beehives as I could. And while I was waiting for the honey, I built up the greenhouse a little bit. So, as of right now, I think we have all the stuff that we need. Um, I say I think because we might be a little short on redstone. I scavenged all my chests and that's all I could find. So, we're gonna hope that's enough. I do believe I've found the perfect location for our farm, because it's not too far away from our stronghold portal, which you can see in the background behind us there. And off in that direction, about maybe 150 blocks, is a basalt delta, which we need for another farm in the near future. Well, I've got all of my stuff together here, so I guess there's nothing left to do but jump into our last farm for the episode. <laughs> And with that, ladies and gentlemen, our gold farm is done. And it seems to be working rather nicely as well at this AFK platform over here. Unfortunately, I do have to AFK at this one for the time being because if I'm down here at the killing spot, unfortunately we're loading in a fair bit of the nether, so I have to actually go spawn proof the area below. But I AFK'd while I was having dinner, so about 45 minutes and no ingots but a fair amount of gold nuggets. So I'd say this is a great success. And time jump. It has now been several weeks since I built those farms. I built them before the Christmas holidays and uh, well, uh, we're much further after the Christmas holidays now, but I was on vacation as you may know if you watched my create video and um, I barely touched Minecraft the entire time I was away. But the good news is that our iron and our gold supplies are looking far better than the beginning of the episode. So in my books, that's a win. Now, I know this is quite a short episode. My videos are usually about 20 to 25 minutes long, but this one is clocking in at about 10 minutes. But that's okay, my resolution for the new year is to make shorter videos, and not necessarily always shorter in length, but shorter in terms of the content that I pack into the video. In the past, like for example, this island here, I built this entire island in one single video, and oh my god, that burnt me out of Minecraft for quite a while. And my goal this year is to not burn out as often, because I burnt out quite a few times last year, and um... It sucked. I love playing Minecraft. I don't want to get tired of the game. So from time to time you may get a shorter episode like this, and for the most part I'm going to try and keep my average video length around 20 minutes, but like I said, if there's a shorter video every now and then, that's fine. But I also want to hear your feedback on this resolution of mine. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you want to see me do something different? Let me know in the comments. But with that being said, I do think that is it for this video. I have something special planned for my next video because if you know the timeline of this series, you know what time it is. If you don't, you'll have to wait until next episode to see. So, I'll see you then. Bye bye